good evening. I think it was a, a very tactical first half uh, with uh, two clear clear proposals, trying to to fight each other a, a bit. Very slow rhythm, in my opinion. Also in the first half, uh, the opponent tried to to control the rhythm, uh, delaying the the restarts, which is it's okay. Uh, but it, it was a bit boring uh, for a while. The the first half, not many things, uh, and the actions were more in the in the middle of the field and not not close to the boxes so i don't remember so many exciting moments uh, for both teams more than a couple of set pieces for swallows and an offside goal and a couple of more actions behind the line from our side and we managed to to score a goal before the halftime which is uh, very important for obvious reasons and the second half we start a bit a bit slow again not uh, not uh, not pressing as high as we did in the in the first half then we did it but in every every attempt to press today was a fall i think we we commit more falls today than in, in the rest of the season uh, or at least uh, from from the from the referee pers perspective, and it's difficult. It's difficult to deal with uh, teams like Swallows that wants to build from the back. You have to press high, but you're pressing every time. Players in negative position, and if you touch them and they fall down and it's a fall, it becomes difficult to to continue with that pressing. So you have to decide if you continue or you drop a couple of meters. And in, in a very good moment, again, 60 minutes around or 61, 62, we double the lead, and I think from there. The game was uh, much more clear in, in our side. We have the opportunity to score more, but we didn't finish well the game. The last 10 minutes, we, we didn't play um, good enough, uh, too much uh, too much protagonists for, uh, for our goalkeeper, too much time on the ball for our goalkeeper, and we should have finished the game spending more time in, in the side of their goalkeeper. But overall, Three points, uh, important as usually, and and uh, very happy with with the result, obviously, and and quite happy with the with the performance, even though it was it was not was not our best game, and we can do it much better. Okay, that's enough for the short times. Uh, please don't be shy. As well as the media company, if you haven't had any questions, ask for any questions. Are you happy with uh, the action from some of your players this season? For example, um, players who help the game to understand when they come in, they're really making an impact and giving you a way that you play, know which players they should play with. They're basically putting their hands up after, you know, I think you work hard in the game. Yeah, yes, I mean, the the competition, like I said several times, the competition in the group is it's, uh, it's high, it's, uh, it's wild sometimes, uh, because they are all very good players, they all sign for Pirates with the intention to be important players, and and obviously to be important in your eyes and eyes fans eyes supporters you need to be on the field so they are all pushing and trying to be on the field i used to wake up uh, in, in the minus minus one training with uh, 31 32 33 players available for selection mm. and it's uh, obviously it's a headache i am i want to be positive and say and think that is a good headache when you have quality but it's important also for them to 
to accept the roles in in the in the different moments of the season because uh, yeah usually there's time and competitions and games for everybody and in football nowadays if you want to play which is not the case today like I said before the, the rhythm in the first half was not good enough but if you want to play 90 minutes in high rhythm with the schedule that we we are we are enjoying right now in football and South Africa is not an exception the contribution from the bench becomes key so if the player from the bench is coming uh, is not coming with the right motivation and understanding that, like, for example, Cipello in the end that is playing 10 minutes, but he needs to understand that are uh, very important minutes for, for the team and for him as well to, to, to be prepared for the next time. But happy, happy with the contribution from the bench, happy for, for Salen, it's not, not having the best time in his career and coming from the bench and contribute with a, with a good action that luckily finished in a goal. I think it was an own goal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but for sure important for the boy and, and for us for the future. My coach, in terms of your substitution, coach, uh, what were you not happy with? Um, we saw Matito came off uh, a bit early in the second half. Um, I say this because also the players that came in from the bench that, that contributed. Is this the culture that you want to build where nobody solves? They get their chance and you know, they, they, they grab it with both hands? Yeah, of course. <coughs> As a, the, the, the first two subs, uh, the, the, the clock he wasn't, wasn't feeling well, and that's why usually when we sub, center back is because something is going wrong and the early sub of uh, uh, Patrick in this case uh, I think it was in a moment where we we need to or we wanted to spend more time on the ball and usually KB used to used to help us uh, in the in the positional attacks uh, much more uh, it used to be solid in the decisions, the decisions that he make, uh, and uh, with with swallows, obviously trying to to stress as much as possible the first minutes of the second half. Uh, they were throwing even higher the fullback, so we have more spaces for transitions with uh, with Ratomo and with uh, and with Mahopa, with Dion sometimes as well, and. Uh, and KB can can give us Cabello, sorry, can give us uh, that last pass after the, the the after the pressing that we were looking for, and more time on the ball to not not suffer unnecessary in the in the last 30 minutes of the game. And the the other subs as well, or only the first two? Support from the bench as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's one way to to keep um, alive the competition in the team. Uh, today we we coming from one game where we didn't have a good performance in in Durban against uh, Richards Bay, but we repeat the study eleven tonight. I hope you notice it's exactly the same study eleven and. Uh, it's important for the players to feel that confidence, but it's also important to feel that the ones who are coming from the bench, they they are hungry and and uh, and they want to also uh, participate more frequent, and that's what they showed today. But the ones who were not even in the list in the training, uh, trust me, they 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 doing the same. So the culture is there, the the competition is is during the whole week. I'm a bit annoying with this, but that's the most important thing. Work hard. Be prepared because opportunities will come for everybody. And if you convince us to to, to be consistent in the study eleven, we are not engaged or married with with any of our players. They they are here to perform, to deliver, and and they need to be ready for that. In the first 
fun and, and uh, thrilling. The, we see this you know, quick movement where maybe a pass would come maybe a bit too soon or the player would be found already on the movement has something but when KD comes on there's a bit of calmness and he's able to just spot it immediately find the pass. Is, is that something that you've you know been able to, to spot? Is that something that you would want to maybe maybe get better from uh, really especially in the in Mafana? No, I think the problem in the first half was the 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 way we 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 share the space with uh, we we have now the the inclusion of fortune in in the start eleven in the in the right right fullback position, which is something new for him. Even though it, it's uh, let's say it's under control, we were working on it from long long time long time ago. And now is the opportunity for him to play in that position. But still, you need to share the space. Today we play with uh, Fortune a bit lower in the build-up and with uh, with uh, Vincent uh, wide open as a winger, and then with Tito in that space, in that half space. But sometimes the timing and the understanding between the three of them uh, was not good. And every time that Tito was receiving the ball in the first half was really under pressure. Uh, in, in the balls that he received from from Olisa or from team in the same corridor, we have the opportunity to 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 find relay in in couple of diagonals because of that pressing. But I don't, if you remember, there was an action that the fullback uh, Phyllis uh, foul uh, uh, Tito really far from position. They were very aggressive in the first half in the pressing, and our opportunities, even the goal that was was in offside. Uh, came from one ball that Puller received outside, and he immediately filtered the pass behind the last line because they were extremely high and, and aggressive, even with the fullbacks. Kind of a main marking, and uh, that was the problem. Then when KB came, he centralized his position better, in my opinion. I have to still watch the game one more time, but my perception from the bench uh, was like that. Cabello have the the capacity usually to find. Uh, the spaces where he can operate the better because he's not the quickest player in the league. So, but he's smart to try to find the spaces where he can be far from the opponent and, and make us progress and be be more time on the ball. He's not a dribbling player or he's not a player that is going to eliminate opponents with with uh, magic tricks. But he can give you the consistency in the in the possession, and that's what he did. He came to the field for that, and and he did it very well. Push the performances before the end of the year. Sorry, come again. Yeah, you are left with four matches. Ah, four matches. Yes, before the end of the year, the long absence. Yeah, yeah. Um, what would be your ideal? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what would satisfy you the most um, come the stadium this month? What will satisfy me the most? Yes, yes. Uh, and also in relation to your goals towards the end of the Train tomorrow, recovery from this game. We have three games before Galaxy. Congratulations to Galaxy, by the way, to make the final. And of course, also to, to Stellenbosch. And probably they're going to come here in a, in a very good mood. Uh, extra motivation, as usually, when you come to Orlando. And it's going to be tough. And we want to go game by game. Uh, because December is going to be key for us if we want to finish the, the year in, in, a, in a proper position, in a, in a position more according with, with uh, our squad, our, our capacity to, to win games. It goes without saying. So we have to apply ourselves uh, in, a, in a different level during this month. It's a, it's a tricky month, as we all know, but it's an exercise of responsibility from us to to do everything in order to make it. We are not in control of the results, like we used to say, but we are in control of what we do before the games and in our preparation and in our concentration and in our confidence. And this game, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good in that sense. We are now in a, let's say in a good form. I think we are now in a, how many, uh, 10 points out of 12, the last 12, which is, uh, is a good thing, and we want to continue, but the only way to do it is game by game.
that list is restricted to the default for Facebook.